52 is presently housed in an underground hangar at site. Artifact is not permitted to leave containment without O5 approval. Testing of components requires level 4 oversight and one unit of Task Force Sigma-6 to be on hand. Description, SCP-852 is a steel and brass vehicle, strongly reminiscent of a bathyscaphe, with the name Wings of Deadless in gold-plated brass affixed to the lower hull. The vehicle has a length of 21.3 meters, a beam of 4.1 meters, and a draft of 7.3 meters in total. The upper hull of the artifact has 12 masts affixed to it with a length of 9.6 meters, set in two regular hexagonal patterns on the top and bottom of the upper hull, respectively. Each mast has a device on the end that projects a bubble which warps space around it in a way that does not match current space-time theories. Presently, the devices are vacuum-welded to the masts, making them difficult to remove for study. The lower hull of the vehicle is a sphere 3.8 meters in diameter, and appears to be designed for life support. The lower hull has a fused quartz window for viewing, a control board with a robust chair, an airlock on the starboard side, and storage areas along the aft with a variety of tools and provisions. Power and oxygen were provided by reserves in the upper section, with quicklime used to absorb carbon dioxide in the ventilation system. The control board and storage areas have also been affected by vacuum welding, but they were reparable. SCP-852-2 is a mummified Caucasian male wearing a pressure suit of primitive manufacture, resembling a diving helmet and suit but with a supplementary air tank and ventilation to remove excess carbon dioxide. The suit has hoses in its backpack to provide air and power, which match hoses connected to SCP-852 by its airlock. The connecting hoses had been severed 12.46 meters from the backpack of the suit, with the cut area having a mirror-like appearance. The suit itself has two holes, with a similar finish to the hose cut. A third hole is located in the air tank. Addendum, SCP-852 was originally located on Mare Imbrium approximately 7 kilometers from the lunar outpost. Telescopic viewing of the area by satellite showed an anomalous formation, and Task Force Sigma-6 went to investigate. The Task Force located SCP-852, its batteries drained and its airlock open to space but otherwise undamaged. Tracks from the airlock led to the location of SCP-852-2, approximately 70 meters from the airlock. Analysis of the scene showed that SCP-852-2 met with unknown hostiles, which first severed the hoses of the suit, then shot SCP-852-2 in the back while he fled, piercing the suit and killing him either by trauma or asphyxiation. While the tracks made by SCP-852-2 are readily apparent, there are no tracks or any other evidence of the assailants.